hey crafters it's your girl again with another video today's video is gonna be all about cricket i want to show you guys um the basics of um cricket basically how to use cricket design space um so i'm gonna have like a series going on for you guys so you guys can know how to use cricket um for the most part a lot of people have been struggling with cricket and don't know how to handle it and girl like y'all i'm a cricket girl i love cricket so i want to show you guys how you can use it and uh, to your po full potentials um so in this video this series that we're gonna have is gonna be cricket 101 um so i'm gonna have to like show you guys one at a time like what um, to use what is very important for your business what is very important to use while using Cricut design space so um, today we are going to be doing I'm looking at my um, computer right now and I'm gonna be showing you guys um, all that you have to know on the bars you know there's a bar on your left when you're on Cricut there's like when you're on your laptop or computer or whatever there are some menu there's a bar on the left says there are some menus so that's the one we're gonna um talk about today i'm gonna show you guys tell you guys what those are and how to use it and in another video we are going to point out the next thing like the top bar um all the menus on it and the uh, um bars at the, the bar at the bottom on your right so I'm gonna tell you guys what it is and all of that so it's gonna be packed full with this video so don't miss out on the video so let's get on to my Cricut design space hey crafters welcome to my Cricut design space so um I am just gonna be showing you guys some important stuff um I'm gonna be showing you some stuff that you need to know about Cricut if you're a new begin if you're a beginner or um or you're struggling with um how to understand cricket so um when you open this when you open cricket design space this is what you see so fyi if you don't have the cutting machine you can still have a cricket design space without a cutting machine you just cannot cut you can print you cannot cut so but anyways when you open it up this is the first um this is the first page you're gonna see so of course you have all your stuff here get started cricket learn where you can learn stuff heat guide shop whatever i never use none of this the only place i go to is my stuff because that's where i save all of my stuff and new projects so we're gonna click on new project so now this is a blank on canvas they, it is called a canvas um you have the measuring bar here like the table bar and um you have this canvas you can you will see that some people have um different types of um canvas when i say different types you realize that you can switch this canvas to either the one the one with lines or the one with plain background let me let me show you what i mean you can see when you click on this side here it gives you um it gives you the canvas with the lines that's with the table or the rollers or whatever you call it but if you don't want it you just click it you can see it we, there's another one as well but if you don't want it to click off so there are three of them so one two and blank three so if you don't whatever you want you can pick i'm so freaking used to um going for the blank um blank um canvas so now i am just gonna explain a little bit of some things that you need to know then in another video because this is gonna be a series in another video i'm gonna um expand shade on each and every one of them so um of course this is new when that is when you want to create a new work you click on new here you have a lot of templates have it in mind if you're not registered with um 
cricket in the sense that if you're not subscribed to them to be paying a monthly amount or whatever amount um whatever that is monthly annually i don't i don't really know how it works because i'm not using cricket there are some things that um you cannot use so they have templates here for you and you can um use this template when you need it and they have projects here that you can actually buy if you are not subscribed to them and there are like free items as well so these are people's projects that are here um if you want to use it i believe you have to pay let's just look through um what people have made and you can pick whatever you like but have it in mind it's not gonna be free so let's assume i'm just going to go ahead and click on this random one and edit copy let's see so 99 oh okay let's just click on edit copy let's see if we want to use this if it's gonna let us because i did not see any place that it says amount or whatever um so i'm gonna click on make if it's gonna charge me yes i want this on the mat and i'm just gonna take whatever i'm just gonna say confirm see here it's telling me to check out so that tells you that this one i have to pay for it it says i should check out so if i click on check out it's gonna want me to put in my information and which is 99 cents so when you see this um let's get back well let me show you this real quick before we go back to the project you see this um icon with an a it says um you pay it means that you have to pay for this project so um or if you have a cricket um subscription you'll be able to use this for free and if you want to start this is 30 days trial cancel at any time you can see that so we don't want this i'm gonna cancel i really don't want this so i'm just gonna go ahead and delete this i just wanted to show you guys that this project you can use whoever's project but it's something that you have to pay for so you can see this a here it shows that you have to pay for it it's not free so I think with this, I don't think we have to pay for it. Let me just click on it just for the sake of this video. Oh, you have to pay for it. You say three ninety six or free with cricket access. So you can see it actually tells you before you go too far. So um, I don't know why the rest does not have the um, A icon um, to say it, but from what I understand, you don't you have to pay for all these projects, except you see it says free. So here you have your pro, your shapes. All of these shapes here that it's free. You can see it says free, but all of this one beneath is you have to pay for it or you have to have a subscription to use it. So um, there are different um, shapes if you want. If you're interested, you can go for it. You can pay for it or whatever. So um, here images the heck get out of my way so there are different um, images here if you want to go by specific you'll be able to click on and go on specific if you want to go on free let's go on free I clicked on that free and all the images that are free will pop up here and um but if not if you don't want to go if you don't want to go that route you can actually um click on what am i doing click on browse all images and you'll be able to see all images that you will like to use so now let's go on this next one this is text of course you know what this is this is where you can put whatever you want to put and um i for the most part there are so many things i don't use here because i don't need it so this is phrases so you find them here so for the most part you can buy whatever you want to buy here but for me i don't you know i don't really use them because i don't need them 
but you can literally buy whatever you want to buy the same thing applies you know the the, the way these ones are the project um some of the shapes here that you have to pay that's how it is with this this editable images i don't use it so but um it's telling you that these images here you can edit this you can use it like this one like um you know this is the fall season and if um you have like a birthday shirt and you want to make like a pumpkin you can definitely purchase as you can see it says the amount right away and you can take out the name and of course put the name that you want so and this one if you you know you can put whatever like literally you can edit all these images so that's what this editable images are for so upload you know what this is from the name you can upload whatever you want so whatever images you want so i'm just gonna go ahead and upload so you guys can see um I'm gonna click on upload image so you can browse but what I usually do I go to my folder where I have all my stuff in I have a folder that that is meant for kids so um, <clears throat> I'll have to um, um, show you guys different kinds of make a video on different kinds of files so let's assume I am trying to upload a PNG file so I'm just going to look for a random. Um, let's see which of them do I want. Let's go for the Supergirl. Do I have it on Daisy? PNG was Daisy. Okay, now. Nah. All right, let's go to Supergirl. Like I was. No, Supergirl don't have different. It doesn't have SVG files. So I want something that has SVG files so we can use an svg file as well so let me look for one with an svg file bum, 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 bum. Uh, mermaid no i don't want this though i want something pretty i don't think this has an svg file i always go for files with svg files because i can do a lot with it Halloween kids, okay. But when I don't have a choice, then I go for the ones without. So, this is Halloween kids. I'm gonna click on one of these. So, let's assume I want this. I'm just gonna drag and drop it. And what I usually pick, I go for complex. I don't go for any other one. If you go for simple, you're gonna take away from the color. Just watch and see. Boom, 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 boom. It's processing, it's gonna take away from the color. It's just slow you can see that go for moderate it's gonna take away from the color this is slow then I always go for this complex because you can see the color you can see the difference it's really popped out good so I always go for this complex you can use whatever you think you like but this is what I always go for so I'm gonna click on continue and this is already a png file there's no background to it so that is perfect and we're gonna click on apply and if you want this to be a cut image you can make it a cut image but you're gonna lose all these beautiful colors but if you wanted a print and cut image then you go for this which is what we want so boom so um if you if you are done uploading you click on the image that you uploaded and um add to canvas so when you come here it's gonna drop it here and it's gonna come big as you can see so what i usually do i just come to this place here size i don't make sure this um a lock here is shut because it can be open so make sure it's shut so you can size it up correctly i just put a new number so that i can work with it so that's what upload is about so this mon uh, monogram you can click on monogram you will see this is actually great for those that are making monogram designs so um just like if you're making um you know like a rope with initials a bride initials or whatever this monogram works so good with it 
so you see different kinds of monograms modern you look all here you see different types here elegant handwriting if you want it to look like a handwriting whatever and if you want it to be the vintage which everybody loves the vintage looks you go for this so that's what this is all about so done with that I think I will have to end this video here because I want it to be short it's gonna be serious I want it to be short and easy so we can go one at a time so um since we are done with this menu this menu here it's a lot because there are some things there are some functions that are not here but when I'm like you can see when I click on this I see more functions so and there are so many things that comes with this so i don't want to um get you guys all you know confused whatever but what i am going to do is i'm going to make video on this one and we're going to be picking certain functions one at a time that we can use so um of course all of some of these ones you just know it by looking at it you know what this is you know but there's some other ones that it has to be some special function so for that reason we are going to end this video and make another series next week um tune in if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe because um this is going to be very 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 beneficial for those of you that are new to cricut design space or for those of you that are struggling to understand how to use cricut design space so i love cricut i'm a cricut girl 100 i am really struggling to go for other um designing space i have used silhouette studio i really don't know silhouette studio as much as i know um, cricut design space um so i cannot really speak on silhouette studio but um yeah i love me some cricket design space so we are gonna expand more on this on the next video so make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like this video so i know you like this series that is coming for you it's gonna be very very beneficial to you and of course we're gonna um, i'm gonna show you guys everything that has to do with how you can use all of this it is really interesting this one here this one's here they are really like you're gonna thank me at the end of this series so i don't know how long this series is gonna be for but i want to go um one at a time so i don't bombard you guys with too much information in one video i hope that makes sense but anyways thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging with me as always stay positive work hard and let's always make it happen welcome back i hope you guys learned something from this um this is gonna be very beneficial so on the next video i'm gonna be posting is gonna be on the next um um on the menu on the next thing that you need to know i may break things up for you guys so you guys can learn real good it's gonna be really really intensive this cricket one-on-one -on -one is gonna be gonna be really packed full of benefits that's gonna benefit your business so you don't want to miss out on it at all so make sure you turn on your notification bell so when i post those videos you will be one of those to be notified and you will get hold of it and start working so it's end of the year and a lot of people are so excited about this end of the year um q4 um you know rush and um, i don't want you guys to miss out on nothing on all the goodies that is packed full in this q4 that's the last quarter of the year is a year that people like give gifts they uh make a lot of custom made stuff so i want to be able to help you guys ahead of time so you guys can um know what you're doing with your cricket with your cricket design space for those of you that are using cricket design space i hope this was helpful but anyways if this was helpful i ask this thumbs up so i know this was helpful so i that can encourage me to put on the next video because your girl is so busy but i'm creating time out of no time so give me thumbs up so i know this was helpful share this video with someone you think will need this information as always stay positive well let's work hard and always make it happen all right guys Bye-bye.